So over the coming years, AMD plans to release several new APU families based on its latest CPU and GPU technologies, featuring brand new Zen CPU architecture and Vega slash RDNA designs. These APU families would be featured on both desktop and mobility platforms. And we know much about the Renoir, the Ryzen 4000 family that's launched this year and is headed to desktop platform too. But Expert View via HXL is providing us with a potential information glimpse on what to expect from AMD's future APU lineups. The Renoir Ryzen 4000 series APU family that was unleashed by AMD this year and is based on the Zen 2 CPU and Vega GPU architectures. The CPU is fabricated entirely on the 7 nanometer process and given AMD a tremendous lead in the mobility segment. Now the AMD Ryzen 4000 series Renoir APU family is expected to make its debut on the desktop platform in June and should feature similar core tech as the lineup on the mobility chips such as the Ryzen 9 4900HS. We have already talked about Ryzen 4000 APUs in our previous videos, but let's take a look at what's next. We already touched on some details for Cezanne, Ryzen 5000 series APUs in previous posts, but it looks like there's a bit more information to talk about. For starters, like this year's lineup, the Cezanne family would be split into two segments, the high performance Cezanne H and the low powered Cezanne U. The processors would feature FP6 slash AM4 package, so you know the ball grid array as well as socketed, which is the same as the existing chips. It's a BGA platform and will definitely help laptop makers since it keeps the same design while the desktop users can upgrade over from their existing processors to the new ones without requiring a change of their motherboard. While it was mentioned that the Cezanne APU was spotted with RDNA 2 based Navi 23 GPU, it looks like that's only true as far as discrete options are concerned for laptops and notebooks. The actual GPU power in the Cezanne APU is going to be, again, an enhanced version of the existing Vega GPU, which also makes it the most refined form to date. The source reports that the Cezanne APU will be fabricated on TSMC N7 process node and from the looks of it the CPU side will once again be a major update while the GPU side will get similar enhancements to what we saw in the refined 7 nanometer Vega GPU and the Renoir APU family. The sources also reports that AMD's Cezanne Ryzen 5000 APU lineup is expected to hit the market by 2021. We can possibly hear an announcement at CES 2021 with launch planned around Computex of next year. Now moving on to Rembrandt. This is where we'll start to get major upgrades to the AMD APU lineup. The Zen 3 upgrade to Cezanne will be significant, but Uplift from Rembrandt doesn't get a major CPU side upgrade, but it does excel Cezanne in all other ways possible. The AMD Rembrandt lineup is expected to be branded under the 6th generation Ryzen family known as Ryzen 6000, replacing the Cezanne based brethren. The two key technologies that will power Rembrandt APUs will be the new Zen 3 CPU along with our DNA 2 GPU architecture. The Rembrandt APU APUs are said to be fabricated on TSMC's 6 nanometer process node, which is an optimized version of the N7 process, and according to the details, the Zen 3 Plus CPU architecture will deliver key improvements in efficiency while offering a decent performance uplift over what the Zen 3 architecture will be similar to Zen Plus core architecture, but reports show that Zen 3 Plus architecture will be a slightly better refresh than what we saw with the Zen Plus. It's the GPU side which will be getting a major update with Rembrandt. The Vega GPU will finally be replaced by AMD's RDNA 2 GPUs. While we aren't getting any specifications at this point in time, we can definitely expect big improvements on the graphics performance simply by considering that AMD will jump straight from Vega to RDNA 2, bypassing RDNA 1 entirely. The RDNA 2 GPUs deliver increased performance per watt and ray tracing tech, which will be an awesome feature to see in an APU. AMD's Rembrandt APUs will also feature support for DDR5, LPDDR5, USB 4.0, and PCIe Gen 4, but they will also require an entirely new platform. For desktops, Rembrandt is likely to be available on what could be called the AM5 platform, which should ship later next year or early 2022. The Rembrandt family will be launching in 2022, so that would make sense. Finally, we have a new lineup of custom SoCs that AMD is developing for ultra low power platforms known as Van Gogh. There are limited details about the Van Gogh line of APUs, but as is stated, these APUs will be AMD's answer to Intel's Y and ultra low voltage processors. Specifications to look super decent as the APUs expect to rock Zen 2 CPU and RDNA 2 GPU cores with TDPs up to 9 watts. 
It stated that these APUs will feature a custom SoC design hierarchy very similar to the chips that are featured in the PS5 and Xbox Series X consoles. There's no telling when these APUs will make it to the market, but 2021 would make perfect sense. As you can tell, AMD definitely has a strong APU roadmap laid out for both desktop and mobility platforms for the next couple of years, and we can definitely expect to hear more about them as they come closer to launch. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.